So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp messages to new Salesforce contact. Now suppose guys, if you're using Salesforce as a CRM application and you want that whenever a new contact is added in Salesforce, you want to send them a welcome message on WhatsApp immediately. So let me tell you, you can actually automate this process. And in this automation, whenever a new contact will be created in Salesforce, automatically a welcome message will be sent to them on WhatsApp using Interact. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Salesforce to interact. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect our Salesforce account with Public Connect in the trigger window so that every time a new contact is created in Salesforce, the details of that newly created contact will be received inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those new contact details to Interact. And using Interact, we are going to send a welcome message on WhatsApp to the same newly created contact. That too automatically. So let's see how it is done. Now here in our trigger window in Choose App, search for Salesforce. Just select it. And then in trigger event from this drop down, select the trigger event as new contact because we want to get the data of new contacts which have been created in Salesforce. After this, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Salesforce account with Public Connect and to make this connection, click on this connect with Salesforce button. Now because I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, Public Connect will detect the same account. Just click on this allow button to give the access permission and then our Salesforce account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, here you can see a button named as save and send test request. When we will click on this button, we will get the response of the last contact, the most recent contact which we have created in Salesforce. The data of that same contact will be received inside Public Connect. So before clicking on it, let's create a new contact in our Salesforce account. I'll just go to my Salesforce account. I'll go to contact section and then let's click on this new button. Let's enter this contact name, for example, demo user, this is the name. Then let's add some phone number, a dummy phone number, which I'm going to enter for this contact, or it should be a mobile number instead. So whatever mobile number we are going to enter over here for this particular contact, on the same mobile number, we are going to send the WhatsApp message, the welcome message on WhatsApp. After entering the phone number, let me add an email address as well. So this is the email address. And then here you can add some other details for this contact too. Right now, I have just added some basic details and after entering these details, let's click on save. So just now demo user, this person has been added as a new contact in my Salesforce account. We have added the name, email address and the mobile number. And after creating this new contact in Salesforce, we will get back to Public Connect and click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, as I told you, we have received some response from Salesforce. And in this response, you will see the details of the last contact, the most recent contact which we have created. So we will just scroll down to this response and here you can see the details. You can see the same name, demo user. You can see the same mobile number of this contact. Then we will scroll down. Here you can see separate response of last name, then separate response of first name. You can see the email address and the other details too. So in this way, all the details of a new contact which we have added while creating a contact in our Salesforce account, we will be receiving all of these details of a new contact inside Public Connect. So here the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send a welcome message on WhatsApp to the same newly created contact. 
and to send the message we are going to use interact in this video so to set up the whatsapp step just scroll down click on this action step and then here in choose app search for interact just select it after selecting interact in action event from this drop down select the action event as send whatsapp template message click on connect and select add new connection now here guys in this window we have to connect our interact account with Pabli connect and to make this connection we have to enter the secret key of our interact account now here you must be thinking how you can get the secret key of your interact account so to get it just go to your interact account from the left sidebar click on this gear option and go to settings after coming to the settings page from the left sidebar click on developer settings and then here you can see the secret key just copy it from here go to public connect and then paste it over here after pasting the secret key just click on save and now we can see that our interact account will get connected with public connect after making this connection here the first thing it asks us is the country code then it is asking us for the phone number and the full phone number now here guys we have to enter the mobile number of the user to whom we want to send the whatsapp message so we want to send the whatsapp message to the new contact which we have created in salesforce and from salesforce responses we have received the response of mobile number as well so we have to basically add this same mobile number of a new contact which we have received from salesforce over here in these fields now to add the mobile number in these fields we have two different options if you have a separate response a different response for country code and the 10 digits mobile number you can enter both of these details in separate two fields over here and if you have a full phone number of your customer of your contact to whom you want to send the whatsapp message like you can have the plus sign the country code and the 10 digits mobile number if you have this complete response over here then you can enter the full phone number over here either you have to enter the country code and phone number in separate two responses or you can ignore these two fields you can keep these fields blank and just enter the full phone number in this field we have to enter any one so from salesforce guys i have received the full phone number of this contact i have the plus sign country code and the 10 digits mobile number on which we want to send the whatsapp message so i am going to actually map this response of mobile number which we have received from salesforce in this full phone number field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and here in the drop down you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from salesforce and out of all of these responses select this response of mobile number and it will be mapped over here so whatever mobile number we are going to add for a new contact in salesforce the same mobile number will be received inside public connect and on the same mobile number using interact automatically we are going to send a welcome message on whatsapp after entering the full phone number the next thing it asks us is the template code name now here guys to send the welcome message on whatsapp to our new contacts first what we have to do we have to create a template message in our interact account and after creating that template we have to get that template approved from facebook or should i say meta and once that template message is approved you can use that template to send messages to your contacts on whatsapp now here guys after creating and getting that template approved we get a unique template code name from interact and we have to enter that particular template code name over here we have to tell interact that using which particular template we want to send the whatsapp message now to get a template code name just go to this interact account and go to the template section under this active template section here you can see a list of all the templates which you have created in your interact account out of all of this you have to select the template using which you want to send the whatsapp messages so i have created this template named as new contact and this is the message guys which i want to send to the new contacts in my salesforce account if you want to create a new template of your choice click on this create new button and then you can start creating your template of your choice now here guys after opening the template using which you want to send a whatsapp message here in the url section of this template you will see after template slash and before slash view this is the template code name so this is the unique code name for this particular template which we have created so we just have to copy this template code name of this particular template from this url section go back to public connect and paste it over here in this way we are telling interact that using this particular template we want to send the whatsapp message to our users after template code name it is asking us language code 
So it is possible that you might have created your template message in multiple languages over here. So out of all of them, using which particular language template we want to send on WhatsApp to our users. So right now I have created this template in English. So we have to enter the language code for English that is small en. But if you want, you can create your WhatsApp message templates in many other languages. How many languages does Meta offers? You can click on this hyperlink in this help text and then you will see a list of this Meta developer speech. And here you can see all the supported languages in which you can create your WhatsApp message template and you can use your WhatsApp message template created in that language inside Public Connect or in this integration to send it to your users. Right now I have created this template in English and I have entered the language code of English. After language code, it is asking us header value. So while creating this template message guys, we also have an option to add some headers. Now in headers, you can add some text, some image, some video or some document. You can send all of these attachments or headers with your WhatsApp message as well. So if you want to send any kind of these details while creating the template, here you can see that type of template header over here. After selecting image, video or document as a header, what is the image, video or document you want to send with this WhatsApp message? You just have to enter the URL, the link of that document, image or video over here in this field. And that same file will be sent with this template WhatsApp message to the users. Right now, in this particular template, I haven't selected any header over here. I have selected none. That's why we can keep this field of header value as blank. Then it is asking us for the body variable value. Now here you must be thinking, what is this body variable? Now here guys, in my template, you can see that after high, I have added this number in double curly braces. And then after that here, you can see I have added number two in double curly braces. Now after high, I wanted to mention the force name of the new contact, which we have created in Salesforce. But every time a new contact is created, every contact will have a different first name, a unique first name. And then here guys, because I wanted to add these first name over here, this means after high, the field of the first name, the first name, the text of the first name is a dynamic text. It's a variable which will be keep on changing. And to add these kind of variables in our template message, we add these numbers in double curly braces. So after high, we wanted to mention the name and the name is a dynamic field. So we have added a variable over here. Then we have our message and then here I wanted to mention the name of my team as well. So I have added another variable over here. Then if you want not just two, you can add more than this variable. You can add as many variables as you want according to your choice, according to your requirement or template message in your WhatsApp message template. And what is the text? What is the value we want to put in place of these variables? We have to enter those values over here in this body variable field. And this data is going to be a comma separate value. So here guys, we have this variable field one. We have this variable one over here. And in place of variable one, we wanted to mention the first name of the contact which we have created in Salesforce. So from Salesforce guys, we have received this response of the first name of the contact which we have created. So we have to basically map the same response of first name over here. Because whatever first name of the contact we are getting from Salesforce, to the same user with the same name, we are going to send the WhatsApp message. So from this drop down, select and map the response of first name. Now after mapping the value of variable one, we want to mention or map the value of variable two. Now here to add the value of variable two, after this, just add a comma and after adding the comma, enter the value of variable two. So in variable two, I wanted to enter Pabli. I want the team name to be Pabli over here. That's why I have manually entered Pabli so we have basically mapped this data of post name because it will be keep on changing for every new contact. But the name of my team is going to be same for every message I send. That's why we have just manually entered this data, this text Pavli. This is a static text. This is a dynamic text which we have mapped and after comma, Pavli is a static text. After body variable values guys, the next thing it asks us is position of CTA button. So the position of call to action button we have to enter over here. From this drop down, we have to select 0 or 1. And what is the dynamic URL? What is the dynamic link you want to add in call to action button? You have to mention that as well. So while creating the template at last, we also have an option to add some kind of buttons. Those buttons can be a quick action buttons where you can add some quick response text or you can add the link or the website for your product, your store or any kind of link on website. 
to which you want to redirect your customer. So whenever the customer will click on that button with the WhatsApp message, that user will be redirected to that particular URL. And you can enter that URL over here in this field. Now, because as you can see, I haven't created any button for this template message. That's why we can ignore this field for now. And after mapping all of these details and entering all the data, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here means with this variable values, this template message has been sent to this contact number which we have entered, which we have mapped over here. Means a WhatsApp message with our selected template has been sent to our new Salesforce contact. So let's check it. We will go to the WhatsApp account. And yes, here you can see that we have received a message which says, Hi Demo. So this is the same force name of the new contact which we have created in our Salesforce account. Then the message says, we are excited to work with you and look forward to help you with any questions or needs you may have. If you need any assistance or if you have any feedback or suggestions for how we can better serve, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. Regards, Pavli team. So here you can see the same force name of the new contact which we have created in Salesforce to whom we send the WhatsApp message. And then here you can see the same team name, Pavli over here, which we have manually entered in this body variable value field. This means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new contact will be created in Salesforce, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same newly created contact using Interact. So we have successfully created this automation workflow. Now here guys, there is one more important thing. The connection of Salesforce and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pavli Connect will check for new contact, new data in our Salesforce account every three hours. Means every three hours, Pavli Connect will check for all the new contacts created in our Salesforce account in last three hours. And if we have created any new contacts, it will get the data of all of those contacts to back to Pavli Connect. And then one by one, using this automation workflow, we are going to process that data and send those new contacts WhatsApp messages, welcome messages on WhatsApp. So the, because this is a polling based connection, that's why Public Connect will check for new contacts, new data in Salesforce every three hours. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.